give ourselves over to Namo Amitabha Buddha. Only those who are aware of their own shallow knowledge, feeble ability, and severe afflictions can thoroughly believe and accept the deliverance of Amitabha Buddha. Our deficient capabilities can be compared to an inability to earn money, our heavy karmic obstructions to an incapacity to repay debts. Under such circumstances, liberation always eludes us and the attainment of Buddhahood is hopeless. To recognize clearly that we cannot extricate ourselves, that constitutes the context for faith. What does a person in such circumstances do? Not go begging everywhere, but quickly find a wealthy benefactor, that is, depend on Amitabha's deliverance. This benefactor must have two characteristics. The first is that he must be the wealthiest person in the land. His treasure must exceed that of the king. In fact, it would be immeasurable. Secondly, he must be the most compassionate of all people. His love must be absolute, unconditional. Whoever asks for help, he would give it. Such is a genuine wealthy benefactor. A person unable to save herself needs to rely on a rich benefactor. To do so is to recognize completely Amitabha's power to deliver us, and not to go begging all over the place. Practicing a teaching today and the other teaching tomorrow, in order to accumulate some merit and virtues by oneself, is like begging money here and there. Is such practice good? Compared with not practicing at all, such practices are good and will accrue some merit, yet they still resemble begging. If we can get something, we might be able to carry on a while, having three meals a day. If not, we would go hungry. We would still have no means to pay off our debts. Throughout our lives, we would have no secure place in which to dwell. We would always go begging, never finding a haven. To entrust our impermanent, ever-changing lives completely to the eternal Amitabha Buddha, who has an infinite lifespan and delivers beings absolutely, is to give ourselves over to Namo Amitabha Buddha. Thenceforth, we would recite Namo Amitabha Buddha exclusively. That way, we would sever the roots of rebirth with a single blow and achieve assured rebirth in the land of bliss, followed by certain Buddhahood. To do this is to rely entirely on our rich benefactor, not to go begging everywhere. To rely on our benefactor is to depend completely on Amitabha's power, and to cease begging everywhere is to stop counting on self-power. Only by abandoning self-power will we be able to depend entirely on other power. If we give ourselves over to other power, we will naturally leave self-power behind and practice exclusively. Thank you. Namo Amitwofo.